guess this is the fight. Let's go to the entrance. And save before we jump in the fight. Another Dark Aeon fight. MP, fuck that man. No damage. Dark Aeons and this one are wholly different than Dark Aeons and Final Fantasy X. Dark Aeons and ten, they'll fuck you up one uh, right away, right from the start of battle. All of them, even Valifor does like 99,999 damage per hit. It's just so many times. From us, I take from him. Oh, this isn't good. That's awesome.
That's unfair. She literally just used it. This is bullshit. Got any mega potion? It's not. Not just do. raises his hand up, that's when we know the bad thing's coming, and everyone needs to be ready to be fucking like They would have pop it up right away. Some MP. Oh, 
Hey, Mouchy. How was your day? Almost down. Just don't put that finger in front of him. As long as he doesn't put his hand in front of his face like that, he won't do that attack that reduces everything to one. That's such a nasty hit. And we can easily get wiped if we, if we slip up in that One more big hit should do the trick. There it is. There it is. We did it. We did it. Throw my PC down to nuts and bolts. Full clean up. Then got sucked into our dude. Hey, awesome. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, MLT, the um, first week of Halloween, like uh, on Friday, not this Friday, but the following Friday, uh, we'll be starting. We're gonna. I'm gonna play the Undead Nightmare DLC for the first Red Dead Redemption. Careful. Someone might answer. If you're really. In, if you're really digging Red Dead 2, then. Uh, that DLC might be pretty fun to watch. Seeing some familiar faces, maybe. Oh, that those were just those outfits. Wait until you see Riku's... The newest dress sphere I got is the Berserker dress sphere, and Riku's is the best look for that. That's what she'll be in most of the time. I missed three. Oh, fuck me. Say it says 12 or more. But like I like to double check because we have them. Let's see. Pretty sure all we had to do was defeat Yojimbo. I just double checking. Take it. Take it. As long as we got the, the dress sphere. 
garment, not dress gear, the garment grid, Tetra Master Garment Grid, which I'm pretty sure it said we got. Yeah, Tetra Master Garment Grid. Alright, I'd say we're good. There are a few that we missed. Gosh, I'm gonna be so pissed at me. I, again, there's so many different things that might keep us from being able to get the 100%. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I never did play the DLC for Red Dead. Although it's been a while since I played the original anyway, so uh, yeah, I don't know how much I'll really remember. And I never did play Red Dead Revolver. I nuns played Red Dead Revolver. Red Dead Revolver, I think I remember having a lot more, like, really cool, like, uh, uh, it focused a lot more on, like, uh, if I remember correctly, duels and shootouts in, in, uh, in like, towns. Let's go back to Palm Lake. Let's go back there, that's weird. Oh, there's Shinra. One comm sphere. Then we gotta go check on Clasco. Oh, right. So, Nazi, if you're still with me, check this shit out. This is Riku's Berserker uh, attire, and it's great. Everyone else, uh, the other two girls, when they wear this dress sphere, they're uh, more clothed, but it seems a little weird. You know, sometimes I'm like, okay, more clothes is better. You know, it's sometimes it's weird when they're wearing, like, absolutely nothing for no reason. But uh, if you're, like, going to be, like, a wildling of sorts, like a fucking... But yeah, it makes sense for her to be wearing less clothes. Plus, she's got like tattoos and stuff on the legs. Pretty cool. And no one played Revolver. That's funny. I, some people. But I know it's not. It's not a true. It's not. Yeah, it's not the same story. I don't think. I think it's a completely different character. That's exactly what I called it too, that they were furry like outfits. <laughs> yeah. But she uses capoeira? Bite? How cool is that? Banana way. Banana way, banana. <laughs> This is, after this is going to be the moment of truth where I, I don't know if I fucked up in the first chapter or not when talking to Kamari. Oh, I'm so nervous. We're going to know for sure once we go to Mount Gagazette. We're going to know for sure. Oh, fuck, Lasko. What does that mean? Constant. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously? Birds are... The, the trees around my house 
arc are just filled with all different types of birds. I'm wondering if we're gonna get some new visitors. <laughs> Uh, it, uh, we typically only have lights on in a couple of rooms, and um, it, it stays pretty. It stays pretty dark. It, the the play the house stays pretty dark at night, even. But yeah, good looking at it. I'll make sure. And the lights get them lost. Oh, that's stupid. That sucks. Not that's not stupid. That's shitty. <laughs> so. See anything? Anything good? <laughs> In a new movie? <laughs> what? Wait, voicing? So it's gonna be a cartoon? But why, why would Chris... Is, does Chris Pratt do a good Mario? Something's telling me it's not going to sound exactly like Mario. It's going to sound like Chris Pratt pretending to be Mario. And if that's the case, that's a fail. <laughs> I love Chris Pratt. He's great, though. I love... Yeah, I know. I love Chris Pratt. So I'm sure he'll pull it off. He's funny. I, I imagine I imagine they wouldn't give him the gig if, if he wasn't good. If it didn't sound good. That's so weird, though. What a, what a, what a fucking gig to get, though. How funny is that? That's that's my job for the next however many months. Gotta talk like Mario. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. I'm gonna go walk north. We're gonna enter Mount Gagazet area. We're gonna talk to Kamari. And if Kamari does not give us the trainer's address sphere, we have been. Granted, we may have already failed, aside from this. <laughs> I'm just saying that this will be a defining moment where I know for sure if I have messed up. Hey Amber, how's it going? Melty was just talking about how Chris Pratt will be voicing Mario in, in an upcoming movie. He was talking about the Nintendo Direct. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But yeah, I actually recently watched uh, Chris Pratt's, uh, what, The Tomorrow War? I watched that over the last weekend, I think. It wasn't bad. It was fun. It's interesting. It got better as the movie went on. And when it started off, I was just like, I don't know, this is all kind of silly and weird. Then it got kind of interesting. Okay. Before I find out if I fucked it all up. Holiday 20. Good stuff. If there, if it's something like that, that's telling me that means it's gonna be a really, really big movie. If they, if they got like the leading role is is a known actor and a popular one at that, then it's not just some new video game movie. <laughs> it's legit gonna be like some blockbuster movie, like like a Disney flick or a Pixar flick kind of thing. That's interesting. Yuna must leave. Because you're going to give me a dress Ronso here? Ronso youth use force and seek vengeance for fallen Ronso. Garrick lead angry Ronso youth decide to take revenge on Guado. Garrick go to battle. Now Garrick climb peak tell mountain battle plan. And you're just going to wait here? Garrick hear voice of mountain. 
Garrick change mind? Kimari hopes so. And if he doesn't? Kimari stop Ronzo youth. That's crazy. Elder Kimari have no choice. Kimari give Yuna something. Please tell me it's in his hand. Kimari search mountain, but find oh, only oh, sphere. Oh, oh, oh. Kimari oh, not know oh, if found oh, sphere oh, is one oh. Yuna seek. We're still on track, baby. But Maybe. Kimari Don't know. We could have been off track Yuna. hours ago, days ago. But boom, that was what I was afraid I fucked up earlier on. And if he didn't give me this train address sphere, I would have known we weren't going to get 100% for sure. We still might not get 100, but at least we're going to get real close to it if we don't. Because I feel like everything's been going pretty good. But cool, we got a new dress sphere. Probably Uni's There's gonna. Still time. We'll have Yuna, we follow them? Uh, use the dress sphere, probably. Uh, yeah, let's go. We're going up. Maybe we can reason with him. If Yuna <laughs> go, Kimari <laughs> think Garrick listen. Maybe. If not, Kimari be with Garrick. Eric is, uh, is his hatred of the Guado has decided to launch an attack. Meet him on the summit of Mount Gagaza and stop him by force, if that's what it takes. Stop Eric's attack. Good. We can save right here, even though mission started. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm excited. That's awesome. So we got a new... Okay. Okay, I guess we have another... We have another um, fashion show. Chances are Yuna will get this sphere. But honestly, if 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 one of the other two has a much better look, they might get the sphere. So let's so let's put this new one into theirs. Any bear? The fuck? Okay, time to check out the new dress. Actually, first, let's kill until there's only one. Okay. Let's wait for everyone to have better. Okay. Did unit just go crazy? No, we're good. All right, this is it. Fashion show. Yeah, I do. Chris Pratt's great. I remember. I remember uh, watching him in. Parks and Rec. It's just this funny dweeby guy, and then he became super fucking famous. I didn't see that coming. But hey, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that was like such a hit. Yo, Trainer is. They have their own. An Jesus Christ, Riku. Trainer, they have their own animals? She's gonna have a monkey. She's gonna have a monkey. She has a monkey. How did I know she was gonna have a monkey? How did I know she was gonna have a monkey? Yo, this trainer dress sphere is dope. Each of them have their own names for their monkey for their animal. What does she have? A cat, maybe? Oh my God, she has um, Yojimbo's little fucking fella, Koguro. That, that right there, guys. She wins. She has Kogoro. She actually has a known character in the game. Granted, the monkey's funny and the falcon's dope. She actually has a classic character. 
Like, and we just killed the dark version. That's what's so great is that we get this right after taking out Yojimbo, which is the dog's master. And then it's like basically we adopt the dog after killing its master. How great is that? Alright, so yeah, that, uh, I was right. <laughs> Yuna keeps that one. Oh, Amber, uh, do you like The Office? If you like that kind of sense of humor and stuff, Parks and Rec, totally, totally a good choice. Totally a good choice, yeah. Parks, and plus it has, like, at this time, like, the series is over, obviously, and you'll get to see all of the, like, a lot of famous, a lot of uh, actors came from that show. Uh, already famous and then went to the show, but even, like, a lot of people had some pretty successful careers in the outside of Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I typically don't say that with much shows. I'm not, I've never wanted to say a must-watch, but Parks and, like, if, if I was to say The Office is a must-watch, I'd, I'd have to say Parks and Rec is a must. It's so funny. It's so good. It, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta power. Oh right, because yeah, those shows hit their prime when the character, when the actors start to get like familiar with each other after a se a season of working together. Following season, when it comes to comedies, they just they get funnier because the chemistry gets better with the actors and and plus the writing. They find they figure out what works with with people and what doesn't work. So yeah, 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 for sure. Mati's right. You gotta <laughs> if the first seasons are like, what is this? Just keep watching. He gets better and better. And Chris Pratt is hilarious. He's a big part, too. He's an in a lot. One of the main characters. Okay, so... Right, so she says that... Give her Alchemist again. I really don't know what to give her. I think I'll keep Trainer on her with that, because I did like that Falcon a lot. later i mean they still had that stuff they still they still incorporate it but yeah okay yeah that's a good point uh who can you compare for each character to you from two parts right that's like twilight that's so funny um yes and no i would say chris pratt is like the maybe the andy yeah i guess i guess nah i mean chris pratt gets chicks <laughs> dwight would never get chicks <laughs> He only gets April. <laughs> no, Parks and Rec's great, but yeah, he's uh, he he plays more of a like a slacker, kind of like, kind of like a. a... I, I guess you know, I guess. But he he he's a part of a band, like a garage band of sorts, and he has a job. But he's not very good at it. He has high aspirations, but he's not the smartest guy. It's it's good. It's just good. Lovable idiot. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I guess he is Michael Scott, right? He might be the Michael Scott of it. I feel like the Dwight. I feel like um, Dwight Schrute of Parks and Rec would have to be Ron because of how unique Ron is, and not many people get you Ron. But he's so funny. And he he's he's smart. He's not an idiot. Like Dwight's not an idiot. Just they just yeah. But uh, that's where I would put those two. Even though they're like, you got machismo on one hand, and then you got like a total dweeb and a total like nerd on the other. So in that sense, they're totally different. But whoa, my eyes are heavy. Good thing I ran. Yeah, Zena's exactly Zena's in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
to see Lawless, I believe, yeah. Yeah, it, and it's just a fun, it's a fun one. It's it's what you would expect from a, uh, it's, yeah, it's just a sitcom. Every episode's its own little shenanigans. It has, it obviously follows an overlying theme, like, when it comes season to season, but... Yeah, it's definitely one of those shows to put on when you're going to sleep. But expect to be staying awake and <laughs> watching, wanting to watch the next episode. But it's definitely, it's, yeah, it's definitely just a silly show. Yo, Amber, I actually... And it's, uh, it's, uh, um... Amy Poehler. It's Amy Poehler. Yeah, and she plays she plays Leslie Nope. The she's like to the book. She she's just so she wants to be like a politics. She cares about the environment. She cares about she she's annoying. <laughs> she's annoying, but everyone she's still an important character, and it's more so how everyone reacts with her and reacts to her, and how she reacts to everyone else. Because even though she's so to the book. She she knows people's strengths and weaknesses. She's a really good personal person, but it's good. It's, it's, it's a great cast. And then um, oh man, they just there's just so many. Yeah, there's there's a lot of really good, good actors. Good job. It's only stupid characters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, I watched. I watched some uh, Star Wars last night. The Star Wars Vision show, with those um, each episode being a unique, artistic look at the Star Wars universe, and they do a little short story. I was able to watch the first three. First three or first two for sure. Two for sure. For sure. Okay? The samurai the one. The music one. They're, they're, they're great. They're really pretty cool. I do, I think I like them. I, I am definitely going to probably watch some more tonight. But, um, it's so out of the ordinary for Star Wars. Some of these creative ideas are really out there. And, you like, if someone, if they were to pull that shit off in a movie, everyone would have complained to the max. Like, you know how many people complained about uh, Kylo, Kylo Ren's saber having the two side ones to like block as if it is a hilt like that kind of thing which actually makes sense god forbid that actually makes sense <laughs> um you yeah you got these other situations where it's like really just really creative uses of uh of lightsabers squid party isn't that like a is that a cartoon network late night show Am I wrong there? No, I'm thinking of Squidbillies. I'm thinking of Squidbillies. I don't know what Squid Party is. What is Squid Party? And where where do I watch it? And uh, and Amber, I will hold. Up. I would say it's good. I like it, but most people probably won't like it. It's just very different. But it's 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 really creative. Some of the stuff is really creative. Some stuff better than other stuff. But um, I'm enjoying it. Don't they have? It's like a modern version. Of it. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, I was thinking of a different, another one that's also like that. That might be green, but maybe it's not. Uh, it's scoring funny characters are green. I'm vision. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, what is it on? What streaming service? Blind. 
Oh no, darkness, yeah. Nope. Oh no, she doesn't. That's funny, lower rent. Yeah, that's a good one. I saw a very little bit of Aqua Gene Hunger Force. A couple, like I've seen episodes in the past, but yeah, I never did watch Good But that's a good reference. Uh, <laughs> Netflix. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's some of the stuff was pretty good. Uh, I I never I never watch all Boon Docs. During that time, I was I didn't watch a lot of Cartoon Network. I, prior to those like adults, I used to watch a lot of Cartoon Network. But yeah, no. Um, I believe Nuns has seen all of the Boon Docs. But no, I haven't seen. Them. Hope we get a chance to save before we jump into this fight. Master is a really good one. Holy crap, we're gonna I'm gonna have to reorganize and find some good. We've unlocked so many garment grids that are pretty decent. Double check. Oh, let's double check up there. I could have sworn one of those things that we could cast. Guards against our not cast. Put on that Tetra Bay. Um. You're like, write this in about like in an hour. Fight, I'm going. So yeah, it definitely looks like we won't be getting through chapter three today, but we'll make some progress in chapter three. Yeah, Adult Swim had some really weird shows. <laughs> and then Melody Do Me Cooks. What the Wait, was that person that was like in freeze frame, but you could see behind them <laughs> movement? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, Adult Swim is for um, either people. Uh, it's for people that are. Uh, I, I, I want to say under the influence. It doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes when you're tired, you're so tired, you, you, you're you delirious. You kind of feel like you're under the influence. 
I feel like adult swim was meant for, those. <laughs> for anyone that's just somehow under the influence. So don't climb the mountain, it says. Right? Is that what it said? Shit. Oh, climb the mountain head towards the summit. Instead of climbing up the cliffs, go to the left into the mountain. Oh, I see what they mean. They said instead of keep going. Head in the one of those things on Adult Swim. The later it would get in the night, the weirder the show has got. Jesus. Oh shit, this was the right way. for earlier. I think I went too high up the mountain. Gotta get back down. Hey, but at least we saved close enough. Let's do it. Nope, don't want to fight. Don't want to fight right now. Just jokes. That was one of them. That's funny. Yeah. I'm sure I've seen some fake infomercial ones. I never saw that one, but <laughs> I, I didn't know the feeling. Okay, let's jump back down the mountain. How do we get back there? There we go. Uh, good question. Uh, yeah, Mel, if you have a good, have a good chipotle, that sounds great. Huh? Duns is making some French dips. I'm having for dinner. Um, Parks and Rec, Parks and Rec. Let's see. I'll do a quick look ski for you, Amber. Oh, it's on Peacock. 
if it's on Peacock, it might be one of those shows that you don't have to, you don't actually have to have a subscription for. But then you being a wrestling guy, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you had Peacock already. Yeah, Amber, that's so funny. I too have that subscription for just that reason. I don't really watch. Too oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm on track. Uh, I don't watch too much. I don't watch too much Peacock. It's probably my le no. Amazon Prime might be my least watched channel or streaming service. Uh, I would go HBO Max, Netflix, Hulu, or maybe HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix. I watch a lot of HBO Max lately. Go to battle with Guado. And if I ask you not to go, Mountain tell Ronzo to go. What if you can't go? Summon or not, hold Ronzo anger with puny arms. But if I do, you will stop this talk of vengeance. Very well, but Garrick never fall. Ah, uh, somebody's a few spheres short of a garment grid. Typical Ronso. Good point, but I was talking about Uni. I summon a Yuna. No true Ronso anger. Oh, guys. I just need to push Kane to go to the bathroom. That? How are you going to do that to me right quick? Cool, that's nighttime for this fight. 
Uh, I hope this new Mario movie is good better than the real one. I know the first one with John Leguizamo. Yeah, that was so bad. That was so bad. Yeah, that was so bad. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm it, it guaranteed it'll be better than that. But then again, this new one, I believe, is, is a, it, I don't think it's a live action. It's, he's just a voice of him, so I think it'll be a cartoon. So, um, that being said, I'm sure it'll be entertaining. It'll be fun. They'll probably get famous other good actors to be the other characters. It's, it's about actual Mario, as in, like, it's just a story, you know, basically, you know, it's, a new, it's basically a new Mario game, but instead of a video game, it's a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Deal holy damage to an enemy? Holy crap. I was talking to Camille earlier, and I guess they do have Holy here. Then you can pull it off, though. Might as well let her die just so we can bring her back up. Hit her one more time, please. I want to steal something from him, and I can't think about it. Like, uh, isn't he a plumber, like, in the original movie, but not made of good ones? Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Like, it's, it's, it's the Mario that we know and love. Yeah, instead of, like, them doing their own twist with it and bringing in new... Like, yeah, 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 I know what
Riku can't change, change or anything or do anything about her. This is fucking weird. There we go, finally. Maybe if we bring her back up, she'll be up actually. Finally, let's get stealing, lady. The rest of them can, can kind of hide from attacking for the moment. I'm trying to get the icy gleam. Pain is, uh, is immune to darkness or whatever. Defeat Garrick in battle. Garrick, honor Yuna's wish, not go to battle. Thank you. Garrick not need thanks. Garrick underestimate Yuna. Garrick now understand he is weak in battle. Garrick, wait. Destroy Guado after he become better warrior. Wish bring your garment grid. That's right. Mount Gag is it done? We did all the others, now I feel like we gotta go to Sade. Beans are pouring out of the temple, hold on. We say to do the mushroom one first. Mission seems like people think the gold wings are in the league. Okay, cool. I go to the mushroom rock just to kind of get some conversation going. Say there's a couple things to do. Good, that's Shinra dropping his stuff. Here. No need for concern, Lady Yuna. Everything's under control. 
The fiends got close to our headquarters, but thankfully no further. The Alped from Jose assisted us in fighting them off. So, Gibble was here? Yes, his group also brought us these Machina. You know, he said something which still strikes me as sort of odd. He told us not to depend on you so much, Lady Yuna. Me? He said we need to rely on our own strength to defend Spira through the coming age. Lady Yuna, if I may interrupt, there is something I would like to ask you. Sure. As you are probably aware, we have not heard from Maven Nuge, our leader, in some time. Lady Yuna, have you no information as to his whereabouts? I'm sorry, but we don't know any more than you do. I see. If we see him, we'll tell him to return here. Thank you. Sure, you've been around for the last time. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, hard question. I typically binge every show I watch. Heard you. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard question. Give any up top of your head? There's plenty of good, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them good, but there's plenty of, like, older shows on, like, I don't know, just anything. When it comes to streaming, streaming services nowadays, there's just so many just good shows in the past. Uh, anything, oh, there's a lot of sci-fi shows I remember I used to, like, growing up, but, uh, I don't know of anything I would really recommend for people. Okay, we can get that joke, bro. Oh, I ran away? Well, fuck. Mm, yeah, I know. There's too many. Too many. That's happened to me, too, in the past, yeah. Uh, Office gets sad. Office gets sad later on. And as there's plenty of funny episodes later on in the series, I feel like some of the funniest moments happen, happen pretty early on in the series. for the office. Not another conversation.
double check I had the item I needed. Ah, there you go. See, Mushroom Rock Road's gone. Good peek. Let's go to Xanarkin. There was actually something I almost missed. That actually is something I almost missed. But it's a quick one. Go to the Dome Corridor and talk to the Star Room. Oh, yes. Shinra. How many Shinra drops the Comsphere in every area? I don't know if we actually have to talk to him when he drops everything. Because there's... At least a couple areas I missed, but going back there, I see that there's still that comms here. Oh, good. Okay. We just had to go to there. Uh, we gotta run through all this shit again. I hate having to come here and then, like, there's not a teleport to go right to the ruins. That's, that's another show that, like, I watched, like, a handful of seasons, right? And I kept up with it for a while, and then some of those shows that just go on and on and on... Eventually, you stop watching, even though they're good shows and they're, you know, you enjoy them. Uh, like, for me, uh, Supernatural. Loved Supernatural. Loved it, but I, I, I didn't see the last season. Fuck, uh, Walking Dead. I used to always, always catch up, you know, keep up with that. And uh, it turns out there's a whole final season I never saw. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll probably be watching that one these days. have been appearing at the temples. Do you know anything? They're coming from the chambers of the faith. It pains me to hear that. And Zanarkin? There are fiends as always. No more, no fewer. But the ruin tours are another matter. The only things thriving here are the monkeys. To make <laughs> matters worse, Sid ran off a while ago and hasn't come back. Guess that makes me. They came out Zanarkin's with another one. For Doom Patrol? Is that like brand like well, they did another one brand time new? To do some defending. Or are you just talking about the two Until seasons? Because you're talking about two seasons. I did see two seasons. But if you're telling me they came out with a third season, get out of town. I gotta tell nuns. Oh, it came out today? Hell yeah, Amber. Good shit. Oh, I see it promoted. It's on the top of the. It's on the top front front of the search. Dude, hell yeah. Hell yeah. So yeah, I really enjoyed that show because of how... Uh, uh, <laughs> kind of like with video games, people in movies, TV shows, when you are someone that watches or plays a lot of them, you see the common... You see a lot of the same stuff reused and common themes and different stories. And it's just like, I've seen this before, even though you never have, but it's just like another thing you've seen, right? Well, Doom Patrol was a nice breath of fresh air for me, at least. And so I, I got pretty into that. I'm into that one. So I definitely do want to see what happens with the characters. Uh, yeah. Weird is right. Very weird. <laughs> it's really, so stupid. Although those the butts with the teeth, that's scary. That is scary. That's what I can do. Pretty sure there's a safe spot. Oh, there's a safe spot we just walk by. We use that to hit the ship, and then we're actually going to one of the main Chapter 3 story spots. Well, when we get there, we gotta do a couple side things before we actually start that. So much side stuff. Save. Yep. It's 
Now in Besaid, we have a sphere search, or search sphere. So the search is locked away in a treasure chest at the bottom of the room. Obviously. Alright, hold on. Before we do that, let's go to the beach and get that cactar on the beach. On episode season one was weird with cockroach and Yeah, dude, that was so weird. No, yeah, definitely, definitely a weird show. I just realized I fleed from a freaking choke bow. That's not good. This game can't go that way. Such a long travel. We'll probably hit at the beach, get that cactar, and then. All yours, you know what? Where are you going? You might just. You might do the cactars before coming back here if we're able to get this one. I knew the chocobo was going to run away. Son of a bitch. That took way too long. Let's just leave. Fucking monsters. Sometimes when they get that oversoul, they're just annoying. That's just annoying. Um. Waste of time and items.
Yep, cool, 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 yeah. Alright, so this actor should oopsie should be on the beat the other screen here. I think it's the very edge of the beat. It doesn't matter if we are successful at the game, as long as we find it. I think the only Cactuar minigame we have to be successful at is the very last one. Oof. I look forward to that. Yep, I see it. <laughs> it's all sitting there all, yeah. it up now that's gonna be hard actually get him or not. Are we back on our ship? No, we're not. Okay, so... Since we're already here, we can just finish up. Finish up what we're doing here. We don't want to talk to Lulu yet. Lulu starts the mission. <laughs> There's a little bit of a side sphere thingy. Why are these bots showing up all of a sudden? I got a friend with them. Oh, dude, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't... Got a mess... Oh, the one... Oh, the one that's on Discord, like, the one that you're warning us about? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's, that's weird, and I hope... I haven't got any requests or anything. I hope I don't. Trust me out. I don't want to have to go chase that cactuar again. Good, and there is 
Kimura. Fine tune the optimus. Oh, for sure. So. So how does this work? Very confused by that, this, but we did just save. In one of the rooms, it says. <laughs> See, I knew they would get a cast of some great people. Jack Black's the best, man, so awesome. Two. Number is two. I should write this shit down. Actually, no, I think they. Well, maybe not. Charlie Day. That's funny. That's Luigi Bowser. Fred Armisen is a wonder. He's so funny. He's got he's got a great voice. So yeah, that's funny. He's cranky. Oh wait, Cranky Kong. Cranky Kong is 
is in Donkey Kong stuff. So they're going to be combining things here. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Keegan Michael Key is Toad. Oh my god. See, I knew that they would get a huge cast. Yeah, that's interesting. said Keegan Michael Key is Toad. So he's gonna be high pitched or whatever, maybe, I don't know. When he talks. The whole, the list is really funny. already went this way too it's annoying that we have to come back this way and then we'll have, probably have to run back after we find what we need to I mean, no, not really. I don't really follow it. I know we got a good team, and we've had a good team for many years, I guess, but... Or sometimes, I don't fucking... I again, don't follow it. <laughs> no, but my oldest brother... my old, Not my oldest brother, my second oldest brother, David, who... The only time you ever see him sometimes is he'll come... He'll come try to... He'll come to pick up the mail or something. And uh, he knows his football, but other than that, no. There we go. Seven. Seven. 
I have three brothers. And yeah. changing the camera on me. Damn, you're from a big family. I, uh, I had a friend growing up that was from a big family like that, too. Accessory where I can avoid encounters. At this point in the game, though, we're, we're, we're nearing the end of all these crazy mini games. That's when I want them the most, and you know, I wanted that accessory the most. But hey, oh well. Getting through. Sold again? Nah, we're fucking railing. I ain't gonna deal with this damn thing. It's the same thing's gonna happen. Two four. Raging giant army. to the city or to the town to actually do the Back where we came from as well. Just 
there's no save spheres on this side of the island, which is ridiculous. Fuckers keep oversoling every single time we encounter them. That's good. That's sad. I saw what you put. And and frankly, how do we know that we're not gonna see how do we know uh, we're not going to see some sort of flashback scene with Uncle Ben? <laughs> so Uncle Ben might be the movie. We don't know that we're not going to see some sort of flash. He seems, you know, that 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 moment torments his, torments uh, Peter his whole life, right? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I'm going to laugh now. Now with that, I'm going to laugh if we end up DC. <laughs> from inside the temple but it's all right waka and the others fought them off oh dope luckily no one was hurt guess your friendly neighborhood gold wings won't be needed any fiends they missed may still be wandering around waka and the rest split up to track them down give them a hand the gold wings are on the job we'll even give you our special bargain price that's nice <laughs> sorry lulu that's okay. It's all right. Now go. Take a look around. People in the village will feel better knowing you're here, Yuna. Oh, that's true, because we jump in with Tom Holland's uh, Spider-Man after the fact. Like, we, we don't have to wait. Yeah, he's, he's already just with his aunt. Actually, that's also another weird thing, is that Tom Holland's aunt is so... <laughs> she's so young. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, she's not, she's not an old lady. What you up to? Uncle Exploring Ben would have been uh, You never know when you might need a lot of A new invention of yours? At least in that in that version of it. And that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Did you fall and get the boo boo? Here's the perfect guinea pig. Oh, I can see Yuna. Huh? The com sphere transmits an image back to the airship. Oh, neat. Nine. Uni! Uni! Something's up! What's there to decide, Waka? We can finish off the fiends right here and now. Ah, burning down a temple is going too far. You have another suggestion? Uh, they, ah. We have to do something. What if the fiends keep coming? Or maybe you don't mind putting your family in danger. Hey, all we gotta do is stop the fiends, yeah? Yeah. To stop them fiends, yeah? Give me a chance. 
so maybe I can begin with this. Some publicity. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sphere is working. Into the temple after. I can see you now. On the temple. Gotta kill some fiends and then take out Dark Valor. Inside, fighting fiends. It would be so simple to burn this place down and take the fiends with it. Praying to them never did anyone any good. You're the one who destroyed sin. You should know. Going to help him? I won't wait much longer. Okay. You want to see it burn that badly? It's for the safety of the village. We're gonna solve a problem without burning the damn town. <clears throat> Controlling the fiends must be down there. Take that bad boy out. And we Definitely. won't need fire. Fair enough. <sighs> Waka, stay here. 
Why? Wouldn't want you to overdo it, Daddy. Hey, wait up! Weird way, to, weird thing to say. I think she's oh, because he's gonna be a father soon. She just said it should have said it differently. All right, so we're thanks. Yeah, I'd say let's fly. Ooh, yeah. An Aeon? No, something's not right. Waka, stay back! It's not safe! Oh, that's what it was. Uh, the yeah, it was probably like a uh, a ghost. It was a spirit. The monster itself might have just been called a ghost. Baptists. Nothing with yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna be an issue. I knew it wasn't gonna be an issue. Just a matter of hacking away. Such low damage makes me think to switch to a DPS with Nika. Maybe we will. Point doesn't matter as much. Ooh, energy blast is definitely different than energy ray. See how bad this is. Five hundred. Yeah, it's deep. Demi. Easy peasy. Oh, that was my very first Aeon. Hmm. I grew up here in Besaid. This is my home. I became a summoner here. This is where I first met you. I have to protect this place. Yuna. The job's done. I see. Glad to see you're not hurt. Or are you? Aren't you going to be a father soon? What if something had happened to you? What then? Quiet, meanie! It's okay. What can I say? He's got a point. Waka. 
If we die trying to save one memory, we risk losing them all. But what if it's a really important memory? Yeah, memories are yep, nice. Yep, Waka and Lulu are, are together. It's an They're gonna. Saying, yeah? They, uh, well, which is yeah, interesting but... because Lulu used to be with Waka's brother, but all this stuff they've been through and them hey, losing the brother right. brought yeah, them even closer fine. together. I'll be waiting. Interesting. It's a good story. Talk about a one-track mind. Memories are just memories, yeah? If beans ever come out of the temple again, I may really have to burn it. Uh, I guess so. But call me before you do. We'll save fire for our last resort. You got it. Jim Holmes is to drop off this character. Desert, turn in the cactar we grabbed. I like how it's a hot spot again. That cactus. Yeah. Okay. Mayo. Mayo. You must tell me your tales of the southern That's island. The of That's the <laughs> Mother Lovera loves getting into cramped spaces. Yep, Lovera's the next one. Left with one of his mind. Most comfortable box in existence. Finally found a splendid treasure chest in the home of the Sphere Hunter. How long has it been since. Oh, uh, yeah, then I actually noticed. It. I saw where it was telling to go, but that's. Nice. Several boxes of locks on the gist of it. Head to Chateau LeBlanc, yep. Slum. This should be an easy one. There shouldn't be any. I guess there's a little bit of it. enemy encounters. Not much. Not sure, Amber. Probably not that much longer. I just kind of wanted to do a few little loose ends, but, uh,. But if that takes too long, you know, I'll be calling it, so I don't know. I don't know. Not much longer. Yeah, Calm Sphere's right there. Awesome. I want to double check. I know I remember seeing Shinra bringing Calm Sphere here. I just didn't remember where it was. Cactus is in the back.
<laughs> yeah, you can see the box just shaking. It's funny. one more time. And he dodges sometimes. See? Ah, I knew it. And there we go. We're out. Fail. We see he's still gonna follow us. It's all okay. We just got Lovera. So popped off. Now we go back to Vicanol and drop it off. That's the clue to the next one. Kong is man. I played the uh, yeah. I know I know my Donkey Kong. That's the gist of it. understand why Donkey Kong is. I understand why Donkey Kong is in a Mario movie because Mario's original the original Mario was, he was on a Donkey Kong. Mario's first appearance was on Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong. So I get that. But with like Cranky Kong and other characters from the Donkey Kong universe, they have no they, they have no business being in a Mario thing, but I guess they're gonna, you know, it works. It, I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm sure it'll be still fun. Okay. 
yeah, I know where to go here. Never heard of Crank Gun. He's, uh, I mean, he's in all of the Donkey Kong countries. He's one of the playable ones. Like, like there's there's only like a handful of of, of Monkey Kongs that are actual playable characters in the game. So like you know most people would know them if you play the games. Uh, obviously the first one, he, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, which is the female one, Cap, uh, and then then there's Cranky Kong. I hate Cranky Kong. Using Cranky Kong sucks because he he pounces he like bounces like a pogo stick with his with his staff. And it's, it's not easy to, like, bounce throughout stuff. It, I find it to be a lot easier, too. When you got, like, oh, I think this is Dixie. Yeah, Dixie, so Diddy, I believe, can, like, keep you in the air going straight. But Dixie will, like, go straight and then fly upwards and give you higher ground. Uh, Dixie's, like, the best. Uh So, yeah, now we're going to, we go to Mount Gagazette and then go down. It's quicker to get to where we're going from, from this This is over here. <laughs> That's awesome. Fucker's gonna join us now, right? Who's finally cooperating? Let's go. I don't understand how we're gonna get that last garment grade. Someone's telling me we don't need to defeat that last cactar to get the garment grid. It's just you have to defeat the cactar to get the garment grid, but we don't need the garment grid to get 100%. We might have to not have to worry about defeating the last cactar because that mini game is way too hard, way too hard, way too fast, and it's just gonna get worse and more difficult. So we're heading back to the desert. Drop off those two that we just snatched. Just 
we're still kind of set to finish the game on Monday. Finish this off on Monday. We're still on track for that. Tomorrow, still bad yet. Good amount then. Finish up Chapter 3, and then there's no side quests in Chapter 4, so you can just do Chapter 4. Which will leave Chapter 5 for Monday, or we get a little bit into Chapter 5 tomorrow, and then finish the rest on, the rest on Monday. I don't know. No, alright, Thunder Plane. Yeah, we need to go Thunder Plains North. The statue we're looking for is just north where the cacti are by the statue. North of here. Oh, wait, north of that spot, huh? Okay, so further up. I want to say I see it in the distance. I see something. This is our target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire best. I'm tired of this, of this mini game already. You don't. I don't have to beat him. Let's just get through it. All right, let's drop him off.
see. And this next one, the next one is in the filigree. That's where we would have headed next anyway. So let's drop this one off at Big Mill. Inside at Kilika Temple, the Youth League's got the woods closed off. You have to uh, get past them somehow. Yeah. Yeah. interested in this publicity. We heard fiends were coming from the temple. And you just had to come running. Well, uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm not even so sure there are any fiends. You haven't checked? I'm in the Youth League. Do you think they'd let me in the temple? So now what? We giving up? Let's take a look first. You'll never get near the temple. The Youth League's blockaded the forest entrance. As they should. We can't have those temple vermin crawling into town now, can we? Besides, it spares me from having to see that sulky face. Sulky face? <gasps> Bartello? Of course, he's with New Yevon, so naturally he's in the temple. But then it's really none of my business. 
then we'll make it ours. Besides, I'm worried about the fiends. If you want to go that badly, I won't stop you. But they're turning people away at the gate. I've got it. I'll distract one of the guards. That's your chance to run through. I knew she was worried about him. Save the rushing of the game. I mean, this is bonus. Really just back to the front of the area and we'll see. I want to talk to this one lady on the other side here. We found some some people to talk to. It's accumulated. Let's talk to this monkey lady. Let me know if you find any squatter monkeys in the woods, okay? How many squatter monkeys have you brought me? Let's see, eight, eight. Okay, so 13. But that's okay, we'll be able to continue that after this. Nice. Means that we still gotta do Killica. Here, part opens up in Babel after we finish up Kilika before we go to Jose. Jose Temple after this, if I jump straight to it tomorrow and forget to go to more of the messed up. I don't think it should be so bad. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Nothing, Amber. I'm getting off. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'll be continuing this tomorrow. We'll definitely get through Chapter 3 because we're almost at the end of Chapter 3. And like I said, Chapter 4 doesn't have any side missions. So we get to go straight into the story on Chapter 4. 
Uh, so I feel like by the end of tomorrow, we'll get to the final chapter. Plan, that's the plan. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyone else out there lurking, I uh, hope you have a good night. And I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one, Amber. Yep.